Stop. Quick check. Eating cereal or chips? You might be eating BHT, restricted in parts of Europe. It's legal here, but approved differently. Once you know why, you'll read labels differently. The additive is called BHT, short for butylated hydroxytoluene. It's a synthetic antioxidant, meaning it slows oxidation, the process that makes fats go rancid. BHT can show up in some cereals, chips, chewing gum, and packaged baked goods. Not every brand uses it, but it's most common in highly processed foods designed for long shelf life. And the only way to know? The ingredient list. Now here's where Europe and the US diverge. European regulators have restricted or phased out BHT in certain food categories, depending on the country and product type. This wasn't because it was proven dangerous in humans, but because long-term human data is limited. Some animal studies showed biological effects at high doses, raising unanswered questions. So Europe follows the precautionary principle. If there's credible uncertainty, regulators reduce exposure, even before definitive harm is proven. The U.S. takes a different approach. Unless there's strong evidence of harm at approved levels, additives generally stay on the market. U.S. regulators concluded that BHT is safe at the low levels currently allowed in food. This isn't about one side caring more about health. It's about two different philosophies of risk. And here's the part most people don't realize. Many additives, including preservatives like BHT, fall under GRASS, which stands for Generally Recognized as Safe. Under GRASS, companies can do their own safety reviews, rely on expert panels, and decide an ingredient is safe. And they don't always have to notify the FDA. Public health groups often call this the GRASS loophole, and even government watchdogs have raised concerns about transparency and oversight. No single additive determines your health, and BHT hasn't been proven to cause harm at normal dietary levels. But when it comes to longevity, the bigger question is chronic low-level exposure to many additives over decades. That's why some people choose to reduce synthetic additives when alternatives exist. If you want to avoid BHT, look for brands that use alternatives like vitamin E or rosemary extract, or products with simpler ingredient lists. This isn't about fear, it's about understanding how food chemicals are approved and deciding what level of uncertainty you're comfortable with. Want a list of BHT-free brands and how to decode grass labels? I put everything in the comments.